Step 1. Using a small screwdriver or pick, bend the OEM contacts upward away from the circuit board. Make sure the contacts are no longer contacting the circuit board. Step 2. Using a small eraser, clean the circuit board. Once the circuit board is clean of all debris, spray with carburetor cleaner and let dry. Important, make sure no debris remains on the circuit board. Step 3. Position the swiper arms so there is space available for you to slide the GM64 over the tip. Note, you may need to tilt the swiper arm tip away from the circuit board to allow space for the GM64 to slide over. Step 4. Carefully slide the GM64 over the tip of the swiper arm. Make sure that the tabs are locked in place. Last, make sure the GM64 is making contact with the circuit board. It is important to test the repair prior to reinstalling into the tank. First, reconnect the electrical harness back into the top of the module assembly. Then, turn the ignition key to the auxiliary position. While having someone observe the dashboard fuel gauge, manually move the float arm from empty to full to verify fuel gauge is working. Reinstall the fuel module assembly back in the fuel tank.